Now, after understanding the physical and chemical properties of alkali metals, now understand the, uh, let's see their uses. They're very widely used in very different diversified fields, like lithium being it is used in making along with lead in making the bearings for the engines. It is also used in making your electrochemical cells, your mobile batteries or cells, because that's the one which because it's very it's it's having the E naught reduction value, uh, most negative one. That's why it's, it is used in making those cells or batteries or of the electrochemical cells. Then what we find is sodium. Sodium is used in the, uh, the liquid sodium is used as a coolant in the uh, breeder reactors. It is also used in making number of other compounds like we have caustic soda, sodium carbonate, bicarbonates, etc. Like and along with this, with, along with this, the sodium and potassium we know that are very widely used biologically. Potassium in the form of potassium hydroxide is used in making soft soaps. So they have number of variety of uses. Cesium, and on the other hand, being uh, is shows what, what your uh, uh, the, the the phenomenon, which is actually a photovolt uh, used in the photovoltaic cells. You have seen that they, when we the high incident radiations are actually incidented on these metal, like specifically the cesium and uh, rubidium, they eject out electrons. So that is why they are used in making photocells. So this is how they are very widely used in different diversified fields.